Hello everybody and welcome to uh, this year's 2020 coronavirus um, spring conference. We hate that everybody missed going to all the spring conferences that we had this year and we wanted to bring the conference to you guys. So today we're going to be showing you guys a little bit about the products that we have and what we had planned on bringing this year to uh, some of the conferences. So let me introduce you. This is Jake McKay. He's our Director of Business Development. and. My name is Forrest Briggs and I'm the Chief Operating Officer. And we just want you guys to be safe. Make sure you use your hand sanitizer. And I'm gonna turn it over to Jake and let him talk about some of the systems that we got today. Yeah, so the first product that I wanna talk about is probably one of my favorite products. This is the Revolution 120. It's what we consider to be an entry level system. However, because of the high quality data that it produces, it really can give you guys a really quick ROI, a good return on investment. Uh, this system is a three and a half Plus or minus three and a half centimeter accuracy product. What we really like about this is that it's got a, a really good range. It's a 150 meter range capability. Allows you to uh, really scan in areas where there are any elevation drops. You don't really lose that much data. So this system also produces 420,000 points per second, a little bit over 200 points per square meter. If you're, you know, if you're scanning for topographical maps, um, power line distribution, just pretty much anything, this system's the system for you. Whether you're new to the LiDAR game or you've been doing this for a while, this is a product that we really think is good for, for anybody to use for the smaller type jobs. So tell me, Jake, what's, um, if I had a job that I wanted to use, um, let's say I had a backpack job, can I use this scanner for that capability? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it easily, mounts and demounts from a drone to a backpack you could put it on a car there are a lot of different platforms that you could use this on so how long would that take you know the swap over um, 10 seconds max i mean that's awesome yeah it's great <laughs> so i'm going to talk about the hdl32 so this is our system we call it the revolution hd or the snoopy hd very similar in capability to the rev120 um, it's capable of being mounted to a drone a car backpack uh, basically any vehicle that you can get on. We've even had it on um, the Robinson R44 helicopters. So it's pretty much as versatile as you can make it. It obviously has the back portion where you can have a camera option. So we support the uh, basically any of the Sony models, the A6000, the A7R, the R1, R2, um, any of the newer models. We have a couple of um, Sentara multi-spectral cameras. Um, anything that you want to be able to capture both photogrammetry and LiDAR on, both of these two systems are fully capable of that. This particular system is 700,000 points a second. So it's a bit more than the Rev120, but it, it does have some capabilities that are different. So when pe people always ask us, which system is better for which application? And the answer is, well, it kind of depends. Um, this system is Slightly more accurate, so it's basically 3.1 centimeters, mm -hmm. um, and that's at 50 meters AGL. So it is more accurate the lower that you go. It is a 41 degree field of view, so it's it's basically its beam, its, its span of capture is quite large. So it makes it ideal for mobile mapping, um, which is 99.9% .9 of our customers use this system for mobile mapping. We also pair it with a 360 camera. Um, very easy to operate. As Jake said, it's literally a push button, slides on to the mobile rack. Uh, we generally like to scan at a 45 degree angle. And what that does is allows the scan to reduce the shadowing effect that's a commonly occurrence on vehicles that are in the right of way. Outside of that, this system is, it's the, I would call it a mid-range type of system. So it's not the most expensive, it's not the cheapest, but it's a, it's a nice mid-grade model. This is probably our second most popular one outside the Rev120, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got anything else to say about this one? So Forrest, um, you know, a lot of our customers come to us weighing options on either one of these systems. Why would you tell someone to pick that HD over a Revolution 120? So the, the main difference between these two systems, that if you look at the data quality, they're very similar. The main benefit for the Rev120 over the HD is range. This one has a range of roughly 50 to 60 meters. Um, this one has a range basically all the way up to 120 meters. Now granted, that's a narrower field of view, but you still have the capability and you get lots of points at 120 meters. This one would completely disappear. Its max is somewhere around 80 meters. At 80 meters, it does not get a lot of points on the ground. That's the, really the difference between these two. This one is kind of the, the tried and true long-term beast. This has been available. We had the first one back in 2010 
So it's been around for quite some time, still as a very, very strong competitor in the market. And you know, I think I actually heard through the grapevine in the office that we may have a COVID-19 special on this one. We do. We have several of these that are um, available for sale. We're doing a, a pretty, pretty aggressive price cut, actually. Right, um, right. Um, I guess, I mean, I could say it on, you know, we're telling everybody anyway, so somewhere between 15 and 20% discount. So it's a pretty substantial um, price reduction on this. Um, it's to help you guys out. You know, we, we want you to be successful. We want you to go out there and collect. Most of the surveyors are exempt from most of the rules for the stay at home. So they're out there working their butts off. Um, you know, why not use technology because you may have staff that are, you know, tied up, um, they may be sick. Um, this allows you to do the same type of work for you know, basically a third or a fourth the amount of time that it would take you know, a group of people. So it would really help with um, you know, your productivity for sure. So this is, the first, um, this is the first segment of the, I guess the virtual conference they're gonna be doing. We're gonna go over a couple of more systems. Um, so stay tuned. Yep.